So for a while, we weren't allowed to have dine-in customers. It was statewide mandate, right? We did not have a choice in the matter, and our little shop could not afford the fine for breaking the rules. So, you know, we made our apologies, posted our signs, adjusted our practices, and I had a grown-ass man throw something at me because he couldn't sit in the coffee shop with a teapot. Like... This dude was in his 60s, and he threw a teapot at me. That was just sitting on the counter. Teapot broke. And I'm like, and you say people my age are entitled. Most of the people my age were like, oh, no, I understand. It's You're just doing your job. It's always the people in their, like, 60s that yell at me for no reason. No, some people did not process well, because some people are used to getting what they want when they want. Grown people throwing temper tantrums looks funny. It does. <laughs> and I'm just like, is today the day I get fired? Because, hmm, you are trying me. Yeah, yeah, Cryotius. I, I was born and raised American, and even I'm mostly ashamed of my people sometimes. <laughs> you know and i i do have some friends that are like in their 60s or 70s yes i have friends that are that old and they're really awesome but they're usually really old happy little pagans that are like me that come over and they're like oh my god you're really nice and then they bring over seeds or a fun crystal and they're like i saw this mushroom and i thought of you and i'm like yeah you're my people <laughs> But, unfortunately, they're few, few and far between. Yeah, yeah, no. I, I, it's, I just, it's sad that I hear people talk shit about America, and I'm just like, you're not wrong. <laughs> no, my favorite, my favorite people above the age of 50, they bring me stuff like this. Like, I, since I've worked in customer service, I get presents from my customers sometimes. And one of my customers brought me this thing and a top hat. This is an ostrich egg. It's hollow. It's been, it's been emptied out. But they brought me an ostrich egg. And they were like, you can pretend it's a dragon egg. And I was like, oh, I love it. So now it has its own little box it sits in and it has an iridescent cloth that it sits on. <laughs> because why not? <laughs> yeah, and a top hat. I got a top hat too. And I had another customer that brought me... Let me see. You're eating your bennies, aren't you? They're going to get cold. <laughs> All right, hang on. Uh, there it is. One of my customers is a glass blower, and he made me this for in October one time. It's a glass pumpkin, and it's pink. Yeah, this was a customer's gift. This was a gift from a customer. This mug was a gift from a customer. I had a customer give me a violin because I said I wanted to learn how to play violin, and so they brought me the violin that they learned on and they're like it's still in good condition you need a new bow you need new bow strings but otherwise it's perfectly uh, good to learn on so i've been <laughs> i've been trying to uh, teach myself violin on a on a violin that a customer gave me <laughs> <laughs> 